Welcome, Catherine. Good to see you. Everyone, Catherine is new to our church, oh. so she's going to be joining our prayer group this morning. Hi, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning. Glad you could make it. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Jim, I think you were about ready to say something. Oh, yes. We really need to pray for Tom. You see, the poor fella just lost his job, and I think his wife's about to leave him, too. Poor guy. You know, not that I'm surprised. You see, he was late for church every Sunday. Sure. So, he was probably late for work every day. Oh, and you've seen his car. It's a mess. So I can only imagine what his desk looked like. Oh, man. Sure. <laughs> oh, and I doubt his co-workers liked him very much. You know, have you heard the way he talks to his wife? I have. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely terrible. But we probably shouldn't talk about that. Uh, just pray for Tom. Sure, that poor cat. You know, speaking of Tom, his his brother Jerry mm -hmm. got the flu really bad. At least that's what his wife said. Hmm. Now that I think about it, that might not be the case. See, I've noticed that they've been sitting on opposite ends of the pew. Mm -hmm. That is when they do show up to yep. church together. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. there seems to be more than just a little space between them, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Know exactly what you're talking. You know, I saw Jerry in the emergency room this morning. You did? I'm pretty sure he's sick. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. We need to pray for our youth pastor. Oh, yes. My sister Gabby, she said she saw him getting into his car right behind the liquor store. Mm. I know. I didn't want to believe it at first. But when she told me that he dropped to his knees and prayed right there beside his car by himself, I said to myself, there is a man struggling with an addiction. Mm. <laughs> Posting that right now. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get some prayer group going yep. online, too. Yeah. Telling everybody. You know, Good. I live next to the liquor store. You live next to the liquor store? Yeah, I live next to the liquor store. Huh. And you know what? I don't have a driveway. The youth pastor came and visited the teens in my house last week. Maybe that's when she saw him there. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I wasn't going to bring this up, but... <laughs> Did you hear what Jane did last week? No. Oh, now there is a woman in need of prayer. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Now, I don't have this firsthand, but... I have a prayer request. Yes, Catherine? I think that we should pray for the people in our church, prayer group, who are having a hard time controlling their tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, gossip hurts and rips apart relationships. Mm -hmm. It can destroy churches, too. Romans... 1419 tells us to follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Wow. You're right, Catherine. There's a lot of people in our church that are really struggling with gossip. <laughs> I am so glad we're praying for our dear brothers and sisters mm. who have that problem. Mm. Yes, power of prayer. Yes. Mm. Speaking of people who really need prayer for gossiping problems, did you hear what Jack said? 